Um, so now we're going to bring all our speakers together. Um, we're going to have a kind of a joint conversation um, on, um, uh, I guess, the, the first part. Some of you may have touched on this already. The first part is, you know, what kind of initiatives have you um, either participating in, or participated in, or led, right, within the organisations that you that you've worked in? I think this will help our audience to feel encouraged, hopefully, to go away from this session and make a conscious decision to say, okay, this is going to be my goal um, leaving this session. This is the you know the role that I'd like to play to help to bring. Um, you know, to support women into the, you know, as part of their leadership journey. So I think, uh, Lubna, you, you spoke to this um, earlier. You mentioned your work within the government, I think it was. Could you remind us again? Could you say a few words about that, uh, Lubna? Well, that was in my previous uh, experience back in 2008. And yeah. It was in Morocco. Yeah. When I wanted actually to encourage women to be in the industry field, yes, I, I, I've, I've spoken to the education ministry to actually right. be in, to encourage women mm. in the building management industry yes. and, and specifically mm. the engineers. Yes. And we sponsored some uh, final classes to get right. more women, give them scholarship to participate and mm. ensuring them that they can actually have find a job within multinational mm. companies and also mm. creating job with the locals one. Yes. And it, yeah. then I found myself uh, uh, one of the board members of the American University in Morocco. And also I had the chance to teach uh, some of uh, public affair and lobbying uh, as, mm. as courses. And uh, yeah. I met a lot of uh, girls when I was sharing my experience and they, mm. they saw, and I, and I was always asking why you're not in this field. And they felt mm. like mm. there is no need to invest all the their career on this when mm. by the end they will not find a job and yes, then, then yes. it started changing from the first year second year we saw the movement of some girls coming instead of being in the marketing only or sales positions they can start to be programmers in the technology or being mm. in actually this kind of field so Great. that was yes mm. that was a huge for me satisfaction Mm. Uh, I volunteered to do it and I was mm. really so proud to have this kind of impact. I'm yeah. still encouraging, of course, in my current job if I can and if I had the chance. Mm. Um, diversity is not only because because we are a woman and we want to be there. And yeah, it's not sure. about that. It's because yeah. it brings uh, the out-of-the-box thinking. It brings mm. uh, a good energy in the team. It, mm. It's it, We actually can succeed uh, to disrupt actually the monopoly side. So yes, it, it, yes. it, it is important. The, the company wins. Uh, teams wins. Win. Wins. It's everyone, <laughs> everyone. Yeah, and yeah. The only thing that I have to be uh, uh, honest about it is the is the culture environment was also mentioning mm. that women in Africa are more like don't yes, have time yes. Yes, yes, because yeah, we'll they need to take care this. of their babies, their yes. families. Yes, yes, and yes, and, yeah. and we are if we don't give, I would say, the father uh, uh, parent leave, we cannot mm. have only the maternity leave and not the father, uh, I don't know how to say it, paternity leave. Yeah, paternity leave. And, yeah. Yes, and, yes, and if there is no equality from that side, we cannot yeah. impact the equality for women also. So yes. it's, yeah, it's, it's again, it's a against. circle. And, uh, mm. and unfortunately, in some countries in Africa, we still have to uh, to fight for this. Mm, mm, uh, absolutely, yeah. I think also yeah. Middle East, I think Turkey is the same. I'm talking about the region that I know. When, yeah. I, was leading, when I was leading Europe in my previous experience, I was mm. like watching a huge, huge difference between difference, Europe and yes. the region of uh, Middle East, unfortunately. And when I, whenever I was talking to the HR team for Europe, I have like, I have 
in the same company, advanced countries, and, and, yeah. and fortunately, under development countries, which is the same company, which is yes, yes, which is amazing. weird because uh, it's yeah. like wow, I'm I'm living I'm I'm leading in the same company. Why it is different? Yeah. No, we need to yes. adapt to the local law. So it has mm. to come from the government and the law and so on. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. But I think everyone can participate and 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 with small. Right. Yes, I'm also no trying to be uh, in the, in the panel of a jury to encourage women startup. Mm. I think it's not mm. only in comp big companies that can women prove themselves. We yeah. startup, we can see a lot of projects coming from women, and it is so satisfying Good. to see Excellent. the coming generation. Yeah. Yeah, I think things are moving in the right direction for right the coming direction. generation. I'm yeah. over 40, so what I have actually uh, faced, <laughs> I don't think that the coming generation will have to things face are it. It's getting better. This is very, very true. This is very, very true. How about, how about thank you very much, um, Lobna. How about you, Ines? Do you, have you, have you, um, you know, been involved in any initiatives, similar initiatives that our audience can find some inspirations from? Um, I'm, I'm laughing because of uh, Lubna. She <laughs> too funny. Yeah. I think we set the pace. We set the pace definitely, right? If you're 40, yes. you, you've been through things that others won't go for sure. Um, <laughs> so it was a kind of a, a revolution from our side. Uh, so mm. yes, I've been involved in a lot of uh, initiatives, and uh, but I think um, um, there there are two different ways of looking at it. Um, I would say that what I've done in the past was always bringing awareness to the table um, and um, never, um, you know, pretending that the elephant was not in the middle of the room, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so if there's, uh, uh, there's, uh, if I find there's an issue, um, even when I look at the teams, we are responsible for managing our teams, for leading our teams. So it's yeah. our responsibility as well to have the right balance of not only of skills, but also of gender, uh, right? If it's mm. needed. The mix, it's very much needed. And that's why uh, the, the learning uh, happens in a different way. Um, the, the work environment, uh, it's completely different if you have balance when it comes to gender. Uh, it's not obviously the, the inclusion, diversity are really, really, really important. But the gender is, is extremely important to be there. Uh, the difference uh, is important. Uh, to make the difference the most important thing, that's not correct, in my opinion. Right. That's yeah. the wrong uh, thing. Right. So as Responsibility. What I what I what I used to do and what I do. Uh, I work closely uh, with uh, the people engagement departments um, in the companies that I've worked uh, with, and uh, with and, and and I help uh, by promoting initiatives to include people, to bring awareness to the table, to uh, create the hot topic when needed, as needed, and. Mm. And also, when uh, I speak with, um, and, and in the past, uh, when, with all of the, the people responsible for recruitment or for, with all of the leaders, people responsible for uh, leading their own teams, um, as well, uh, bringing the topic and uh, trying to um, uh, um, help them understanding that mm. we are not a threat in a way. Yes. Uh, yes. We, we, are, we are there uh, uh, not to be different, but to add value to the picture mm. and contribute with the same skill as the others so mm. again it's, it's a it's a shared responsibility it's individual responsibility for us uh, uh, to bring it to the table um, mm. no matter mm. where we are with who we are yeah. it's a shared responsibility as well when it comes mm. to our companies uh, the companies that we have worked with and that we work with uh, to keep uh, making it a hot topic because it's a hot topic I and mean, it has to be a hot topic yeah, 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 and I can imagine. I can imagine that it, it's all. You know, I, I can see it as being a very, very difficult conversation to have. Right? You know, it needs a lot of emotional intelligence. Uh, you know, the right approach. Um, otherwise, it can become counterproductive, and and that's all the points that you were speaking to. The, you know what I've learned? Let me just add. Uh, what I've learned uh, along the way as well is that confrontation yeah. is not the right way. Um, no. Absolutely. A lot of people, they become very reactive, trying to defend mm -hmm. themselves. Okay, I'm a woman, I have the same rights, I have this, I have that. Yes, we yes. have to defend ourselves. It's very much mm -hmm. needed, by the way. But there are ways of doing things. So we mm -hmm. kind of define, uh, we kind of, as I was saying, we set the pace and we define the tone of the conversations and we bring inspiration and fairness to the table instead of confrontation. Yes. Because mm -hmm. the confrontation only 
bring uh, negativity and resistance. And mm -hmm. it will not be any more about the situation. It will be about the person. And yes, I don't want to be the yes. thing, the, the yes. thing that's being looked at, right? We want the yes. situation to be the thing being looked at. Very so true. Well. Very the way true. We do things with emotional intelligence is the most important. Yeah, thing. that's 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 true wisdom. That's true wisdom right there. Thank you very much, Inus, for sharing that. Because I think most of us often are very, very tempted to get kind of emotionally, you know, engulfed in the situation, mm -hmm. and and sometimes that can be counterproductive. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Ines. And and how about you, Susanna? Have you have you participated in any initiatives supporting in this area? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I joined Ines in Lubna in the Plus Forty group representing females <laughs> okay. in the leadership. You guys be very transparent. Uh, <laughs> uh, but um, I, uh, as I was saying before, I. Um, lead uh, one of the employee resource groups we have at LinkedIn, which is Embrace, uh, which is all about diversity and all mm. types of diversity. So okay. uh, yep. actually today, um, yes. I, um, we had a, a workshop uh, at LinkedIn for the whole team on mm. how to, um, you know, build trust, how mm. to, you know, give um, constructive feedback, how to create a culture of respect and trust mm. and belonging for everyone. So yeah. for every gender, for every race, for every for people with disability, disabilities, etc. And I think, like the way I approach it, it's uh, broader because yeah. um, it's you know it's for every type of situation. So we had a couple of examples um, where I don't know someone would be, for example, imitating a mimicking a language um, mm. because uh, you know from other uh, someone's accent. And then someone would give that person feedback that that was not right because that person was not, you know, with them in the meeting room at the time. And why were yeah. they, you know, making fun of that certain skill? No. And the giving constructive feedback and approaching difficult conversations, as uh, Inez was was saying, and um, finding ways to address the elephant in the room and to create a more inclusive and um, a, a culture of belonging um, is very important for me. Yes, uh, yes. And that's why I took over um, the, the leadership of Embrace for Bina um, a year and a half back. And I mm -hmm. keep driving these workshops um, mm -hmm. to, uh, for people to um, be more self-aware, aware, aware mm -hmm. of their biases um, and to overcome them and how mm. to give feedback to other people about these bias in a constructive way. Yes, yeah. awesome. That's really great. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's great to hear. Uh, yeah. So we've been we've been talking about culture, you know, as part of our conversations. Uh, and I think it, it would be good to kind of uh, you know bring this up uh, as we kind of come to a close with our session. It's amazing. It's already four to five minutes, and we are having all these awesome conversations already. Um, but on the subject of culture. Um, we spoke about, we all recognize the importance of culture, right? But I would like to get your thoughts on how do you think national culture, you know, in the countries where you operate, can impact organizational culture, you know? And, and how do you navigate that? You know, do you, has, you know have, have, has any of you um, find yourself in a situation where you're trying to bring a particular culture into your organization. However, the, the, the national culture doesn't seem to be aligned with the culture that you're trying to bring into the organization. Maybe I'll start, I'll start with you, Ines, uh, on, this, uh, on this particular question. What are your thoughts on, on that? I think um, I'm very blessed, by the way, because okay. <laughs> I've... Um, <laughs> I work in a privileged um, uh, as a, a learn, in, a, in learning and development. You have nothing but, well, you only have opportunities, by the way, to come up with yes. initiatives where you don't make it feel that, again, the elephant is there. So mm -hmm. what, 
what we do, what I've always done, uh, and I've always worked in learning and development um, all my life. So basically, yeah. what we do, we, we come up with a lot of workshops, a lot of initiatives, a lot of um, um, moments or of team building, um, and, and the career development plans that we do build for uh, local talent are always yeah. very much aligned with the, the career development plans that we work for any other employee. We perform. Yes. Particularly with, with a few differences, because uh, if, if we are guests in a, in, a, in a certain country, we need to kind of honor that particular country and all, also mm -hmm. help people uh, in that country to develop themselves. I yes. remember when I was in Africa, um, it was after the war, and um, the main struggle was to develop people, to, to reskill people or to upskill mm -hmm. people. Uh, yes. And um, uh, so there was no workforce to be hired, um, right, right. at least for the needs of, of right. the market, the needs of the market, and that was our main challenge. And I didn't see any particular clash. Uh, I, I, what I've seen was uh, gratitude, because it was done the right way. It was right. done with inclusive spirit and with uh, again the approach of uh, okay, how can we uh, groom you and how can right. we help you in all the steps of, your, of the ladder to reach to from A to move from A to B. Uh, mm. What does it take for you and for any other person joining the company? But yes. you being a, a local in this particular case in, in Africa, um, okay, uh, you maybe you have a, a bit of a fast track, uh, you, you have, a, 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 right, it's, it's, it's slightly different, but essentially the tasks, you need to demonstrate that you are able to um, deliver the same quality mm. Um, mm. as the others. So, um, yes. If you are fair, again, uh, I don't see competition. I see mm -hmm. togetherness. I see a pro, uh, I see um, a, a spirit, a, a team spirit, and, yes. and not the other way around. And I've been seeing the same in all the countries that I've worked. Um, yeah. so I'm, I was talking about Africa. If we speak about the Arab world, the challenges are slightly different yes. when it comes to the culture. But in the end, we are all human beings. We all have the same uh, drivers. And mm, mm. eventual different bias, uh, yes, but yes. Uh, it can be developed um, in different ways and with adjusted career development plans. Yeah, awesome. Right. Thank you very much for those insights, uh, Ines. And uh, Lupina, do, do you have anything to share on, on that, on the, on the cultural side of things? I think you may have already said some mention. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, for me, there is two type of experiences i mean as mm. as a leader in multinational companies i mean i yeah. think we are always uh, trying to have people aligned with the company culture mm. more than than actually i was i was always um leading the region of emerging markets in my old experiences except my previous one with europe when i saw the difference but yeah. main of my experience were actually in for the emerging markets, so mm. basically, we have we have like in my current job, it's it's uh, three continents and seventy two countries. So it's right. it's it's di it's it's difficult to align with all the cultures. But be, we are bringing people to to the culture of mm. or to the company's mm. culture. And as as yes. Ines mentioned, we have great people supporting us in learning and development. Great. Uh, yeah. and, and and they can bring our team to align mm. with the with the company cultures. However, I'm still facing like some countries when you try to uh, have a business discussion. Of course, they mm. are always you can see them even resistant. that resistant to the change, mm. yeah. and few of them they embrace the change quickly, and mm. and then it's back to we start saying. Uh, okay, this is this is their culture because they need the message to be repeated many times. They need actually uh, to have someone who can onboard them uh, mm. and 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 actually remind them about the 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 company's culture. So mm. we tried as maximum to not uh, go to the culture of our uh, team because they are mm. supposed to align with the culture of the company company yes yes yes, yes. No, so we, yeah, I think you're, yeah yeah mm. we don't want to be yeah. yes we don't want to be going in very specific markets and and try mm. to to understand the background but what we do with our talent acquisition team is 
to get the people that they can adapt quickly mm. to uh, mm. to the American mm. culture, which is very yes. results-driven mm. uh, culture. Very, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we give autonomy to people, so we need people that, that they're not relying on their mm. uh, manager or their leader to have everything. So where yeah. they are coming from, a culture that they need to, the approval for, for everything, so they can mm. move. So we can see that. Mm -hmm. But we are not really, I would say, encouraging. Yeah, to, so you, you probably have that as part of your recruitment process, yeah. isn't it? To focus Correct. on cultural fit and attitude yeah. as opposed yes. to technical skill, maybe. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and I'm kind of a leader you. that I, I, don't, I really don't hire based on knowledge. And okay. my direct report, right. it's all based <laughs> on, yes, it might be shocking, attitude. but uh, attitude. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, because we have amazing team that they can teach anything about our products about the yes. market about doing how to sell how to market mm. how to produce how to design everything can be learned but right. the the attitude it's something, it's something that, that can, can be teach. easily fixed yeah. right no, <laughs> yes. no, that's no. very wise absolutely very wise. yeah thank you thank you yeah. and uh and Susanna, about on your side so oh, I completely agree with what Lubna and Ines said. Yes. It's um, totally, of course, there are cultural clashes in, in every mm. single country, in every single nationality. We are all biased uh, by mm. the end of the day. It's all about, um, as um, Lubna was saying, it starts with uh, talent acquisition and making sure that the people you hire for your company have the right set of values and fit your company culture and values. Yes. And yes. then keep on training them because mm. we are we are all by end of the day we are all biased so learning and development definitely plays a crucial role um, mm. in uh, you know educating people on and this employee resource groups as well on how to overcome bias on how to become more aligned with the, the company uh, culture and values mm. and mm. this will help minimizing any clash that you can possibly have by yeah. being in a certain country yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah but I think yeah, you guys have spoken spoken very well. To you know, uh, hopefully this will be a good message for our women audience. You know, in terms of of, this, of course having the right character, um, having a growth mindset. Okay, would certainly help with um, uh, finding opportunities in you know international organisations that take their culture very very seriously. So it's not all just about as you, all of you have been saying about knowledge but it's also about attitude uh, and character. Um, it's interesting because, you know, a lot of the emerging economies, that the focus tends to be on technical skill and ability, right? We, we, we are hopefully with women leaders like yourself, over time appreciating the uh, attitude and cultural fit uh, element more. So as a final, it's amazing we've already spent nearly an hour. As a final, um, I would like to uh, invite each of you to maybe think of three words, okay? Um, so this is kind of on-the-spot thinking here. Three words that would describe um, um, the, the kind of the, the, the character traits that a woman a woman would need in order to successfully navigate this kind of you know, very interesting environment that we have with with uh, you know, challenges with, with uh, women becoming a woman leader. So, yeah, think think of three words um, that that would uh, you know three character traits that would help um, to become a successful woman leader. So I'll, I'll invite I will invite Susanna first. Um, sure. So what will, what will your sure. words be? Uh, so I would say uh, inclusive, yes. um, willing to coach. Okay. Um, I know this is not just a word; it's free, but uh, willing yes. to coach is very coach. important. Okay. Um, and being an advocate being for an advocate. diversity. Great. Okay. Good. Thank you very much for that. Actually. One question that I forgot to ask you guys is whether you're okay for us to show your LinkedIn um, links. I think uh, our audience might be wanting to reach out to you offline, so I, I did forget to mention that. Um, so if that's okay with you, we would scroll that at the bottom of, uh, of the screen there as we invite our audience for questions. Okay, 
Um, Lubna, what will, what will your three words be? Um, I think, um, again, I will, I will start talking about my, I, it will come from my previous experience, yes, we course. should not, because yes. to be honest, we are moving, uh, mm -hmm. but it's always good to keep it uh, being mm. persistent. Persistent, okay. Yes, right. never give up. Mm -hmm. I think okay. it's, it's needed. And yeah. uh, using using the voice once you okay. are a leader, don't forget yes. that the mission is not Pick finished. someone else up. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I, I, okay. I think helping, mm. helping uh, uh, other yeah. women is a key. This is how okay. we can actually uh, keep doing uh, and, and promoting women in all roles, not only yeah. in all, on, in all in, uh, industries. Great. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. That's that's okay. what yeah, that's, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's solid. Thank you very much, Lubna. Um, and uh, Ines, you've had the opportunity to think about yours <laughs> more quickly. than Lubna. <laughs> quickly, quickly, just to wrap it up, um, I would yes. say fire. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, I would say empower. Mm -hmm. uh, and a third one. And I think it's the most important one for any human yeah. being. It's adapt. Oh, adapt. Oh, okay, adapt. Yeah. Yes, I like that one too. Yes, adapt. Definitely, because we live in a very, very fast-changing um, environment, right? So, yes, being able to adapt is, 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 is also very, very important. Um, awesome. So, yeah. I think we're, we're, we're going to invite our audience to... Um, you know, come up with any questions that they may have. Um, we have kind of gone over slightly, but let's um, try and make uh, some time for our audience in case there's any questions that they may have. I just want and to add uh, yes, Lubna, women, sorry. women yeah. should keep being multitasking, you know, we have this quality. Okay. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that's, yes, we don't, yes. Men, yes, men are not very I, good with this, right? <laughs> Me included. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it is just like rumors, but I I've yeah. been no. I'm I witnessing that in in so many cases, and I yes, think yes, it yes, should be yes. yes. And also That's value true. the work life balance. It is important. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think I think that's a very very valid point. Um, it's interesting that we 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 often overlook the multi skilling element, yep. right? Um, but it's very very critical. You're perfectly right there. So we're getting um, uh, information from our back office team that okay. so far we have no questions from our audience. That could be a positive thing, right? Because it could mean that you guys have provided our audience with all the nuggets that they need. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hence, there's, there's no questions there. Um, so, and, and besides, we're coming up to the hour anyway. So, uh, I guess it's uh, so. I would like to say a big thank you um, on behalf of Trusted Advisors Group to you all for you know agreeing on participating in this very interesting conversation around you know how can we you know inspire uh, women to become you know better leaders. Um, and I think you've shared uh, from you know, slightly different perspectives as well on on some some really useful uh, information there. The key messages there is focusing on, on your character, you know, determination, yeah, fire. Keep, be, keep being a good um, listener also. Yes, yes, it being a good important. listener. Yeah, and then developing good emotional intelligence. I think, you know, this is the point that Ines raised earlier, um, not, not getting too, you know, engulfed in <laughs> some uh, very uncomfortable places. Um, but uh, yeah, so so really, really thank you, thank you all, um, and um, yes, we 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 never know. You could, you could be transforming some lives as we speak. Hopefully, some of our audience have got some goals that they've captured from this conversation. And for our audience, um, yeah, please do you know reach out to our speakers um, if you want to continue this conversation offline. Um, we would certainly love to hear from you if um, you know our speakers have transformed your life in any way. I think this would be a, a great inspirational story for us to be able to share 
you know, on our platforms. So we've been live uh, on, on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure about the numbers, you know, of, of viewers that, but we, usually we have a you know, reasonable amount of viewers. Um, and I'm sure that you're influencing a lot, um, you know, hopefully be influencing a lot of lives. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think, I think this about wraps it up, um, ladies. So um, we, we will definitely be sharing with you guys, the participants, you know, information about uh, our audience as well. So you get to see that. Um, but um, yeah, thank you very much again. Um, uh, have a, a wonderful evening, rest of the day. Okay, I think in, in well in Dubai it's um, it's, it's night time pretty much. Um, so uh, maybe night, good night is, is the, the message for those of you in Dubai. Uh, yes, and thank you again. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank Sibyl. you. Thank you.